Welcome in to another Musings from the Mind of Tutorial. We're going to look at looping particle systems. Uh, I used this in a scenario where I was making a looping fire and I wanted the particles that were making the sparks to loop seamlessly. And so this is an easy workflow that I have come up with. So with that said, let's start a new project here. And we're just going to need two things. We're going to need uh, a plane. And then we are going to add a, a torus as our emitter object. And I'm using a torus so that as we randomize it, uh, its location, its position, uh, its rotation, that is, you'll see easier to see the, the looping. So let's uh, select our plane. Let's go into our particle system and... What we're going to do is I want to set 250. I'm going to set this to 100. Uh, lifetime is uh, 50. And what I found for my workflow, I am going to deal with the number of frames that are twice as many as our lifetime. So my lifetime is 50. I'm going to use 100 frames. If my lifetime was 75, I would work in uh, sections of 150. Um, so we're going to turn on rotation again this and we're going to hit randomize 0.5 This is again just so we can see that it is truly leaping sim seamlessly and render We're going to change to object and we are going to uh, Emit the torus and then we're going to go under field weights And I'm going to set this to 100 because I want my particles to go up If I was going to leave it on I could just flip my plane and let them go down Okay so we're going to set our end to 100 and as you can see here we get what we would expect and our particles go up and then the simulation resets so what we're going to do is we're going to go up here i am going to uh, i'm going to change this to negative 50 as my start and 50 so this is actually going to start the simulation is going to be halfway over the time, um, <clears throat> the time the simulation starts, okay? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another particle system. I'm going to go here. I'm going to drop down and pick the original particle settings. And I am going to click here to get it, its own particle settings. And what we're going to do is we're going to move this 100. So now my start frame is 50, and my follow-up, uh, or my end frame is 150. And you're going to see... I now am looping seamlessly. And then, like I said, I'm going to work in sections of 50. So let's say I wanted to extend this to 200 frames. I'm going to add another particle system. I'm going to go back here and select the original particle settings. I'm going to click here to create a new particle settings. And I'm going to pick up where the other one left off. I'm going to go uh, to 150. And I'm going to go to 250 as my end. And I'm going to change my end here to 200. And now I've I've layered my particle settings. Uh, I hope this helped you. Please hit like and subscribe. And just remember the magic math formula for this, uh, for my workflow, is you want to work with a number of frames, twice as many as your lifetime. Till the next time.